and chat. Oh, you know what? I forgot my pills again. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the Outer Worlds. Titus Androidicus. <laughs> Finishing up a dungeon for a D&D one-shot. Nice. What's in the dungeon? Oh, getting called for dinner. All right. Well, enjoy your dinner. I'll still be here in a couple hours. Excuse me. Alright, what the hell were we doing? Complete errors unseen. To get the iconoclasts to stop their broadcasts. Rose. Do I remember you? Good luck in all that you do. I guess. Right, the bridge. So the mantis swarms a separate species that inhabits the manta queens? Are they the uh, larval forms of the manta queens? Or what? The trail of blood leads away from the autoloader. Alright, where is this trail of blood? Oh, it's just this. Is there a cave? No, it's just... Ooh! Smuggler Tunnel. Oh yeah, the Mantisaurs... Mantisaurs are the drones to the Queen, right. Oh, lovely. None of these monsters heard my bullets.
Ow! Rude. Oh, it's a sprat I'm hearing. How did I get that other one to turn off? Ow! Alright, I was a little too close to that one. Killed all the sprats. Alter 2.0. Oh, the pink mines shut off the barriers? Corrosive mine, all right. Oh, a dude. Hello, dude. Stay back. I may be wounded, but I'm still armed. How'd you get past my traps anyway? Very carefully. Uh, you didn't hear me shooting your mines? Just remember, I still got bullets in case you get any funny ideas. What are you doing out here anyway? That feels a mite better. Wish I had something to give you, but I knocked through my last sprat worst an hour ago. Nice to know she cares. Catherine had us making drops for some big shot client out here. And before you ask, I don't know who they are. Or were. The whole point of making drops in the middle of nowhere was to keep their identity and whereabouts a secret. Yeah. I guess the Marauders noticed because they were waiting for us. Blew the bridge and took off with the goods. A cave like this makes a handy place to store goods or hide out for a spell. And the traps usually keep gawkers out. Last I saw, they were heading back up the hill. You'll see it on the right when you get out of here. If you've got the sand to go after him, I'm sure Catherine can reward you for your trouble. Awesome. Me? I'm headed back to Fallbrook just as soon as I've caught my breath. Excuse me, I'm just gonna... Inferno Scythe! Oh, it's got crap damage. Never mind. Let's see what's inside. Damn, that's some nimble fingers, Captain. 94 bits. And 53 bits just outside it. 
Hope you don't mind me looting your hideout, by the way. Can't believe it's not Borst. Is I can't believe it's not butter even still a thing. I have no idea, but I love that it's just such a cultural icon at this point that people are still making references decades after it was relevant. Oh, a thing I didn't grab. Hemidextrine. It is. Uh oh. Rude. I didn't see it, okay? Up the hill. Let's go get our murder on. you nothing personal I swear Lab. Please, you don't have to do this. Just let us down from here. The humidity is really uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, he sees me. Did he just explode himself off the roof?
The Marauders exploded him off the roof. Damn. I have weapons terminal key card. you. This terminal is only to be used by UDL personnel with A237 clearance. If you are reading this without A237 clearance, please report to your supervisor for immediate termination and disciplinary action, including, but not limited to, fines in excess of 100,000 bits, detention in a UDL authorized incarceration center for up to 136 months, mandatory corporate policies and value seminars, revocation of company lounge and or bathroom privileges. Research data. Project Lorem Ipsum shall result in a potent, mostly non-lethal crowd control gas for use against rioting, agitated, or excessively numerous crowds. Or excessively numerous. Rich sulfur pockets make Monarch a prime site for testing and experimentation. Early results show promise, but further research is necessary. UDL disavows all knowledge of and responsibility for Lorem Ipsum. All data in this report is considered pri pri the proprietary knowledge of UDL. Yeah, have your cake and eat it too. File to external tape. Messages. N. Sanders. Miss Valdez, just reporting in to let you know the lab's all set up. We found a good sulfur pocket to drill into, so the data's coming in, but this place smells awful. The only local we've had to make contact with is the sublight boss in Fallbrook. She doesn't ask questions, but I'm pretty sure she's gouging us, and we're all getting sick of expired sisty bits. From Valdez. Sanders, it's supposed to smell awful. That's the point. And I don't care what sublight is charging, as long as it keeps your presence there quiet. If word gets out, we're going to spend the rest of our lives in corporate re-education seminars. I don't want to hear from you again until you have a working formula. Once we've got that, you and the rest of the lab rats can come to Byzantium and live on cacao ribs for all I care. From Valdez. And come up with a better name for the project. Something flashy and catchy, but that the rest of management will take seriously. Maybe Waterloo or Danger Burn. I'm sick of my boss asking me why I'm forgetting to fill out parts of my reports. What does Lorem Ipsum mean? Alternate project titles. Thunder. If Valdez wants a better title, see how she likes these. She's going to be furious if she ever finds this list, and I'm not covering for you. Make sure these are good and hidden. Thunderdog. Eggs Mayhem. Skunk Parade. Fuck you, Valdez. I want my raise. <laughs> I like Skunk Parade. That's a good one. How the hell many bypass shunts have I got? Sixty-eight, and I've barely used any. Oh, I completely missed this box. Lorm Ipsum is a placeholder text. Ah. They do need to find a better, uh, a better name for it then. Mm 
Uh, you missed basically nothing. We climbed a hill. We ducked into the smuggler's tunnel and climbed a hill. The joke is that when he fills in his reports with Lorem Ipsum, his bosses think he's just putting placeholder text there, hence we're going to fill it out. Gotcha. That's a fun joke. Right. Gotta take that back to Sanjar. keeps throwing this one back in my face. Sanjar. Thank you again for retrieving the bolt. It's every bit as complex as I'd heard, but I'm up to the challenge. Anyway, what can I do for you? Excellent timing on your part. I worked my fingers to nubs, but I finally completed the bolt 52 form. I dare say it will be my second greatest achievement after the reformations. You're getting ahead of yourself again. So I am. Do you have this cartridge? What are these reformations? I'm working on a plan to reorganize the board. Slowly, peacefully, and with meticulous documentation. What's going to happen to the people here when the board figures out what you're doing? Well, by that point, my hope is that we'll be on the board once more. I'm just... Maybe I'm worrying too much, but it seems the folks here get plans made for them an awful lot. When do they get to start making plans for themselves? Once MSI is restored, the people of Monarch will be able to make more choices. We'll have all the brands and resources of the board here. But truly, I am getting ahead of myself. First, I need to submit the Bolt 52, with that data you're holding, of course. It's just what I call my left nut. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, you know what? Sure. I think, uh, I think getting these people resources and supplies and good standing is worth, uh, backing this guy up. I knew there was something going on. This is exactly the proof we need. The board will have to welcome us back. What if that line changes on based on PC gender? It would kind of have to. Bolt 52 right away. After that, we'll sit back and quietly wait for the board to respond. That means no more broadcasts from us. Left tit if you're a woman. That makes sense. And a level. Alright, what are we putting points into? I've good I've got good stats on sneak hack and lock pick. Ooh. 
Ooh, I like the companion skill bonus. 100%. Sexy! Hell yes! 94 lie! <laughs> oh, I'm over encumbered. Uh, vending machine. Is that a special shotgun? Oh, the euthanasia kit. Whoops! Didn't mean to sell that. Oh well, too late now. And buy things back? Awesome. And that armor in no detriment to anything. Hmm. Oh, my mods are taking up uh, a lot of weight, aren't they? 12, 20, 26, 30, 32, 42, 47, 48, 49, 54, 57, 62, 63, 68, 76, 77, 78, uh, 81, 84, 85, 88, 92, 93. So that's another 45 pounds of stuff. Should be a workbench around here somewhere. I don't want to think about it. Eaten by cannibals? What a way to go. He said he didn't want to think about it. Up with the constant stink of fish because I don't want to think about what's outside those walls. I know. Just imagine if they fell. It'd be Amber Heights all over again. That's it. You owe me your month's ration of Debilarol. In here. Uh, 
Ta -ta. Armor. Gadget still skill kit and utility. Versus 32 armor. Oh, it's already full up on uh, stuff. Mental muscular adreno stimulator. Geographic scanner, interactable highlight range plus five meters. What? What do each of those do? Geographic scanner, interactable highlight range is... Oh, right, it says physical armor rating plus five. What is skeletal muscular adreno stimulator? Um... I can't check it in the modify section. Uh, it doesn't show up. Uh, regardless, we're going to tinker with it a little bit. Armor is not going up. Huh. Okay. Oh, that DPS is the sex. Off it and back on does nothing. Hey, where's the helmet? It's missing, apparently. That's weird. Oh, well. I don't think anyone's wearing it. Let's check when it loads. The fancy hat have mod slots? Oh, I can't tell from here. A doy. She's wearing an Iconoclast Apostle Helm. And she's... Wearing a... Huh. I guess? I guess. I guess it's the one she's wearing. But it did upgrade her armor here. Okay. Oh, am I inside? Do you hear that? It's the blessed sound of radio silence. 
Which leads me to believe you have sweet, sweet news for me. Hell yeah, I do. Yes, indeed. I am back in business. But before we get down to it, might I ask how you handled the problem? In the end? Did some jobs. We did what we could, as best we could. Should probably leave it at that. Hmm, is that so? I don't know how. The two are diametrically opposed and impossible to please. But it matters not how you fixed my problem, only that you did. I don't doubt that you are working with Phineas, but my contract specifies I relay any acquired information to the purchaser, and to the purchaser alone. However, to send the data, I will need your assistance in cycling the antenna's receiver so I can input the needed adjustments. Phineas doesn't trust many people. How do you hook up with you? You make it sound so scandalous. Phineas has been in hiding for the past 35 years. He got in touch with Nioka first, who I use as a physical go-between. The rest is history. Now you hold on. I do not physically go between anyone but that of my choose... Oh. Oh. Apologies. You meant... Right. Yes. I brave the wilderness so you don't have to. Nice, Nioka. Precisely. I really ought to give you a raise. Damn right you should. It's simple, truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here. It's going to shock me, huh? Terrific. I'll be here, waiting with bated breath. Give a shout if the panel electrocutes you. Yep. Yeah, I thought so. Well, let's get this over with. I've got a high engineering skill. Maybe I can do this without getting uh, hurt. make me come back in there. Look, I am well aware that at times I may have the tiniest iota of a prickly exterior, but I must admit I have grown rather fond of you. As Nioka can attest, I do not form attachments with many. Do take care. Why, he told us to leave without flinging insults at our persons. He really does like you, Captain. What in the void blasted hell is that? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh oh oh well that's not good looks like we've got we've got an adventure on our hands looks like a UDL ship based on the gunnery attachments I guess it's one of the board's blockade enforcers but don't cite me on that oh well a pity for the crew but I can't see how it affects me. Hiram? Can you hear me? Did you see that? Architect saved me from swindlers and fools. Sanjar, what are you bloody doing on my channel? Did MSI or did MSI not cease broadcasting? Yes, but... Hiram. Hiram, are you there? <laughs> oh, it's a reunion. Group hug. Salvation has come crashing through the stratosphere. We need only collect its weapons. 
Oh no, do I have to... Do we have to pick a faction to help here? Great, I got a pick now. Hmm. 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 Speak with Phineas. Oh, it's a it's a side quest. Okay. All right, let's weigh the options here. Stellar Bay needs all the help it can get. There's good people there um, who really have been dealt a raw hand. And Sanjar is doing his his best to help them. Um, he, he just wants to work within the system to do so. Meanwhile, the Iconoclasts are zealots, but they're right in that the system is broken and needs fixing. But Graham is just so creepy. I hate to be that guy, but I'm leaning towards helping Stellar Bay. What do I do? What do I do? Um, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Um... Oh, fuck. I do the sucker bait quest. Is it actually called sucker bait? Uh, it was botched. Well, I have not found the sucker bait quest. Oh, finding Lillian's lighter was botched because we had to kill her. Okay, so it's way the hell over there. Uh, Terror One Publications is pretty close to it. Cascadia is on the way, although I could just stop there. Huh, the road leads directly to it. That's convenient. I did save the Van Noys, yeah. Oh, is there another quest in Amber Heights?
the conversation I may have missed. All right. Words fizzles, moniker stellar industries, bluster dies with a whimper. Airways cleared. Really shitting on me, huh? Alright, the van noise. Oh, there was a thing Zora wanted me to do. Is that sucker bait? I forgot to talk to her. Hey, Captain, I need your help, and we ought to keep it hush-hush. You know about what happened here, right? The history of Amber Heights? Nope. Bella came through Edgewater once, mentioned something to my dad about pirates wiping out a town. You mean this is the same place? Right. Common belief is that the pirates fled to an old relay station that had already been abandoned, but nobody oh, could find them. Oh, yeah. The station's locked up. But one of my people found an old data cartridge in a nearby wrapped nest. It's mostly corrupted, but I pulled a couple codes off of it. One is the code to the Amber Heights gate. I don't recognize the other, but it's similar. I bet it opens a door. A code for the Amber Heights gate. So they had a code to get in. I've already said that it sounds suspicious what happened with them. Right. The access codes to Amber Heights. What gets me is if this belonged to the pirates, that means they knew someone there. If someone gave them the gate code, all those deaths, Captain, all that blood is on their hands. Graham isn't fond of talking about the history here. He had friends who worked here. The massacre hit him pretty hard. You know him. Live and let live and all that. I don't want to burden him right now. Especially if this ends up it's being probably a him. I know it's a long shot, but if we miss something there, if you can get into that station, maybe we can get some answers. Just a warning. The area is infested with mantisaurs. I'd send some help, but we're, you know, preparing for war. Appreciate it. Here's the code. If it works, bring back anything you find. Supplies are best, but information's good too. If someone was behind the Amber Heights massacre. One sec, guys. I'd give a lot of people around here some closure to find out who and string them up. Good luck. Watch out for the taros. Okay, that was a call I was waiting for, but it turned out to just be an automated one. Excuse me. Yeah, mantisaurs are not a problem. Hi, Mike. goes It 
It still bothers me that it's Spacer's Choice Diet Toothpaste instead of anti Cleo Diet Toothpaste. Got this quest because I paid for meds and saved the Van Noys. Oh, if I don't do both of those things, I don't get the quest? Interesting. Records room status accessible. Unauthorized entry into the records room will result in immediate reassignment. No, it's not even a new zone. Just a room. Sublight thug. Hemlock's eye patch. Sneak attack damage plus 10%. Special choice because something I did led to corporate espionage. Yours was anti Cleo's. Huh, fair enough. Data cartridge. In the rest, the sulfur degradation in the years spent sitting in dirt and dust. It would be a miracle if anything can be found on it. Still, Zora would be interested to see it. Well, that's a pile of bits. You make it look so easy. All right, what do we have on here? Work order UDL 211 status report number one. Tunnels are in. Cables are laid. Devil's Peak is receiving, but we're waiting on signal confirmation from the outpost. This whole place stinks of sulfur. We should have brought masks. I'm sure I heard something in the caverns beneath the town uh, tower. Something's living there. Here's hoping we don't unsettle it, or else that place ain't going to be safe for our cable guys. Oh, so a uh, boss monster I would have had to fight if I'd gone through the caves. Status report number two. We've got signal for Amber Heights, Stellar Bay, and Cascadia. Still waiting on word from Bayside Terrace and Aurora Ridge. I ought to note that I was right about those caverns. They ain't safe. Some kind of... Hell, I don't know. A big thing with claws. I ain't an animal scientist. Can't wait to get the hell off this rock. When life gives you lemons, consider it a free child from your friends at Spacer's Choice. Oh, God. Closure of work order 211. Work order UDL 211 has been completed. The substation will now be disabled and closed off. It should be noted that the lead engineer, Franklin Walkowitz, had perished due to a workplace accident involving hostile wildlife in the Devil's Peak Caverns. It should be further noted that Mr. Walkowitz's complaints regarding the dangers of the Terra 1 wildlife have been redacted. Housing Referendum 207, Terra 1 Hazard Clause. Public denouncement, regulation period, I already read that. Manual log entry. Gonna die for this damn fool errand, I know it. He said Amber Heights was gonna have more bits than we can spend, but those suited morons up and spent it all for us. Books and vases and pretty shit. You can't eat a fucking book. Look at us now. Of all the closets to coop up in and lick our wounds, we had to choose the one that's set to lock itself up feel like a marauder digging at the walls like this, but we gotta get out before we starve. It ain't possible, but Nelson over there is trying to keep our spirits up, and I don't got the energy to fight him on it. Screw that Bryant fella. Eyes bigger than his fucking stomach. Uh, uh, uh. Ah. Make life take the lemons back. I don't want your damn lemons.
Welcome back. You find anything out there? Sure did. Let's see. These are old. Looks like correspondence is between the pirates. Some bits here, some there, some... Wait. This... This one's got the Amber Heights gate code on it. Just like the one I found earlier. And here's... A letter. Wait, this is from Graham. Oh, of all the... Captain. He gave them the gate codes. Thought so. Watch it. That's our leader you're talking about. My friend. I know he's got his head in the clouds, but... I always believed there was a core of good there. What the hell happened to live and let live? Thank you for bringing this back, but I need some time. I gotta think. I'll let you know if I figure something out. Now, I was told... I was told that... Um... That if you come back to certain points, after, certain places after a certain point in the story, things have changed based on your actions there. So I'm guessing that's what's going to happen here. But in the meantime, I think I'm going to go chat him up. Behind me. Oh, right there. The gunship. Have you secured its targeting module? Sure, I haven't. Mount its guns to our walls or the walls of Stellar Bay. The board is coming, Captain, and these weapons will defend us from their blasphemies. I think the chat dialogue is about 30 seconds behind the video. Yes, because there's... Um, oh, then, yeah, refresh. Why wouldn't they? As we speak, our message assaults their populace through their favorite entertainment mediums. Surely their retaliation will come soon. Ooh. Ooh, I think I might leave it to Zora and confront him later. Ooh. 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 She said she wanted to do something about it. I kind of want to see what that is. Let her make up our mind on how to deal with him. See if she kills him herself. I think I'm going to wait. Keep us all on the same page with dealing with this guy. Do I want to know whether or not talking to Graham affects what Zora does or does not do later? You know what? Sure, tell me. Talking to Graham now is flavor. Okay, cool. Well, let's the accuse him then. Have you secured its targeting module? When I founded the Iconoclasts, I did so amidst the ghosts of this planet's past. Since then, many have asked me, why here? Were you involved in the massacre? Was that some gruesome plot to clear a path for my dreams? Many have asked you that? My response to you is the same as to all others. 
the death of MSI was an incidental tragedy. I'd have walked this path with or without it. Wow, he just straight up admits it. I did no such thing. Their deaths came in the night while I slept in Stellar Bay. And regardless, we're discussing a past long since left behind. Oh, you're not showing Those any remorse. Haunt me. But they needn't curse my people. When the entire colony has embraced our truth, perhaps then the perpetrator will come into the light. Until then, it does us no good to dwell on past mistakes. If I were the type of man to make that decision, and I assure you, I am not. I'd have to be so obsessed with dismantling their regime that I'd turn You've to You've dis disassociated yourself and with it. since learned that their mistakes will end them in time and that we will persevere where they do not. But back then, suffocating under that oppressive culture, I can understand a lesser man than myself making a terrible, ghastly mistake. Pulling a mask or a ghastly mistake is putting it lighter. We're putting it mildly, yeah. You are avoiding the question. If MSI had abandoned this place and taken to Terra 2, any hope for our salvation would have been lost. Here, without the shackles of the Halcyon board, we are free to grow as the universe intended. Had we fled with MSI, our spirits would have withered. You've seen that withering yourself. You're still dodging the, the fucking question, Graham. Dying. The massacre of Amber Heights, unfortunate as it was, presented the slim possibility of saving the souls of Terra too. Here we are, poised to do just that. If that's the case, they are free to say so. And I will take their opinions into consideration after we've accomplished our goals. For now, our sights must remain on spreading our message. Let us speak no more of this. Man, the you gunship. just straight up... You secured its targeting module. I'm not helping you. Fuck off. I should kill you right now. The gunship. I should kill you right now, you piece of shit. But I won't. I'm going to let your lieutenant kill you. That would affect the story. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. What do we want to do? I think... I think we go to Cascadia and do the quest there. <laughs> Mistake's a word. I'd go with something stronger. A lot stronger. Crime, maybe? Atrocity? He's so focused on winning over MSI because he needs that victory to justify the deaths that he caused. Okay, left path. That fucker. I 
hear that. Yeah, Gail was right. This game just throws ammo at you. Oh, hello. Are you an auto mech? Are you an auto mech? That was easy. It's annoying to me that some enemies just don't have equipment on them. Like the Marauders will just randomly not have anything. It feels like it's a glitch. Yeah, I'm just a little over leveled. before the end of the next phase of the game at this rate. Ah, uh, I mean, I, if you can't do the side quests without completely destroying the level curve, I think that's a flaw of the game. Cascadia. Need a hundred lockpick to get in there. Oh, I can just fly there, can't I? Do I need a hundred lockpick to get out? Oh, that's a funky rock formation. Mega Mantisaur. And it 
shield, god damn it. This kitty has two sides. Oh, whatever. Oh, there's a hole in the wall. Okay. Captain, look out. Like a raft among the rocks. Why are those corpses? There we go. Ah, up there. Yeah, teleport, Pavati. Well, he's dead. Residents have already been looted. That was quick. I thought this planet didn't have a day night cycle. Well, it'll be fine. What you get when a corporation takes a dump and walks off without cleaning it up. Well, I suppose if I hadn't taken the perk that makes... Lock pick, locks that require one lockpick free, then I would be burning through lockpicks much faster. But still, I'm getting a ton of lockpicks and bypass shunts. From the Rizzo's point of purchase operating system. 
Employee McClure, Cecil, you have been on shift for 88,536 hours. You have earned a five-minute break. Why not enjoy a knock-you-out bar? Supervisor Override. Antediluvian. Oh, yeah! In the elevator opening secure door. Begin transaction. Did you greet the customer by saying, Welcome to Rizzo's Sweet Shop. We've got your candy handy. How can I sweeten your day? You offered the customer a slap. Sales of lemon slap are down. Remind our customers how refreshing a good slap is. Try saying, thirsty friend, nothing beats a zesty slap. Error retrieving current inventory. Zero of everything. There's the secret elevator. We'll get to that last. So I want to explore the town. That's free. A locked bathroom? Oh, excuse me. No, that was a cash register, not a terminal. Another Rizzo's. Oh, it just had Rizzo's decorations. You're asleep. Here we go. Well, that was fast. <laughs> Ow, hey. Yeah, they'll be fine. Oh, they're not fine. What is up here? Strategy for this quest in your pacifist run was fucking laying it through the fire to the objective. You are the one who was doing the pacifist run, right? Yeah. I think so. How did those other marauders not hear ever all this shit going down? Those vending machine. And you guys suck. Holy shit, these guys suck.
smashed bottles. There's that sweetheart cake. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, Parvati! I got your thing, Parvati! It's like 30 years old, but still. February 4th, 2344. Law, help me. Help us all. I saw one, frothing at the mouth, barely able to spring, string a word or two together, walking at me as if to devour me whole. Zora was right. There are monsters here. We need to get out if we want to live. February 5th. Cecil, you aren't insane. They were people once. I don't know what they are now. Zora. March 11th. Cecil, those crazy assholes don't know how to use a keypad. I took one from my clinic office and installed it on the bridge gate. 2613. Be safe. Okay. Thought I was stuck for a second there. Why is there... Okay. I thought it said evicted. Bottling plant, huh? So bridge to success has been sealed. Your safety and the safety of others, all access is closed until further notice. Oh, right. There's two halves to the town. Let's finish exploring this half first. Oh my God, you guys suck. Terminal. The message threads are listed below. Please note that unauthorized access of Rizzo Inc. message content is a felony. Public notice 117. Public announcement of Terra 1. 2. Theodore T. Pauline B. Subject. Re. Re. The Hazard Clause. From Sumner. No. We'll hit our export quotas for the next... Uh, Oh, why is this one in order? I've received confirmation that Rizzo will soon abandon Terra One with the rest of the corporations. We are expected to maintain our exports until the day we leave. All teams will continue to operate until told otherwise. As of this time, I don't see the need to inform anyone outside the three of us of the board's decision. We don't want our workers thinking they're going to be reassigned. Just let them do what, I, what they do best, their jobs. Does this change our priorities at all? Should we begin scuttling research and focusing more on the exports? No. We'll hit our export quotas for the next seven months at least. Project Taro is still our number one priority. Um, Rizzo Directorate. Subject. Re. Re. Shuttle redistribution. Mr. Ziegler, we regret to inform you that the shuttles en route to the bottling facility at Cascadia have been rerouted. The evacuation effort is prioritized in order of profitability, measured chiefly by export volume, and, as of this time, other facilities have proven themselves either more profitable or more efficient. The distribution system will send the minimum one shuttle for evacuation purposes. If you have more personnel than can fit on a standard shuttle, Rizzo recommends establishing a priority system so that the loading and preparation of that shuttle can proceed smoothly. Please be advised that any attempt to load more than the maximum amount of human resources onto the shuttle will be met with forceful intervention. 
Warm regra regards. What of Project Taro? Surely it warrants additional resources. Mr. Ziegler, research projects are not taken into consideration when calculating the profitability of any given settlement. Project Taro's importance may place it higher on your priority list, but we are still unable to send more than one shuttle for evacuation. We suggest you balance your resources accordingly. To Theodore T., Pauline B., subject, re, 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 bad news. We get one shuttle. By my estimate, the Project Taro assets, both human and otherwise, will take up approximately two-thirds of our available space. That leaves us and a couple more people we can take with us. We need to decide how we're going to decide who else to take. Perhaps a subcommittee to draft a decision-making plan. Yeah, great. You know me, Sumner. I love subcommittees. But any decision we make is going to end up with pissed-off workers. Let's just ride out with the Taro crew. We'll enjoy a bit of extra leg room. Oh my god, you piece of shit. Once we're safe on T2, we can see about getting another shuttle sent out. Seconded, what will we tell the workers? We tell them that we're going to get them out. They just won't know it'll be one shuttle at a time. It's fine. Do not tell them about the hazard clause. Our goal is to get out of here peacefully. No incidents. I don't want panic. I don't want a riot or, law forbid, a strike. Once we're out, we'll send word back with further plans. Until then, keep this among us. God, what pieces of shit! These safes only requiring one lockpick, but random boxes are requiring five. Durable guards. Why is there iconoclast armor in this safe? Sugar Ops helmet. Plasma damage, and ray damage. Ooh, I should give that to Nioka. The Sugar Ops team. Here's some extra plasma damage for you, Nioka. View data. Executive review. Zora Blackwood. Zora is a top-notch sawbones with a good head for working under pressure. She knows how to assimilate large amounts of detailed information to make quick decisions. Her competence and decisiveness have allowed her to restore more than a few limbs and digits lost to carelessness around the machinery. Recommend for employee of the month. McClure, Cecil. Cecil's enthusiasm for Rizzo's products is unmatched, and he displays an impressive knowledge of company products. He's exactly the kind of worker we need to keep at our storefronts. Do not promote beyond store manager. Executive review for Zora Blackwood to external data pad. Okay. I guess I'll give that to her. All right, what's upstairs? Dead men is what's upstairs. Messages to Cecil McClure. Cecil, I have received multiple complaints about your interactions with customers. According to these reports, the following phrases have been used while this, when describing Rizzo products being sold at your storefront. If that ain't savings, just call me a Raptodon, expletive deleted. The latest batch is going to knock you out like a nose full of sulfur. The north end of a southbound woolly cow. <laughs> 
These and others are not approved metaphors. Please refer to your employee handbook for the list of metaphors allowed when working. From Cecil McClure. Violette, I have received notices of the following violations. Consumption of non-approved lunch material. Failure to volunteer for voluntary overtime. <sighs> Sale of restricted goods. I can test these violations on the following grounds. First, I'm allergic to purpleberry. Making one of our pre-approved purpleberry lunch meals will literally kill me. To be candid, it is a miracle I have lived here this long without incident. Two, I can't volunteer for overtime because I've already been assigned overtime shifts. Three, okay, I'll fess up to selling restricted goods. You got me there. Selling soap to a man who stinks so bad I can't smell the sulfur around him is against the rules. Fine, I won't do it anymore. Two, P. Bartleby. Miss Bartleby, I am writing to inform you that multiple employees have filed Form R441, Perceived Danger to Human Resources, through my office. It appears that Raptodon sightings are growing more and more frequent. As Rizzo Incorporated has not responded to our request for safety equipment, a level of concern and, dare I say it, restlessness grows among the workers. Any indication as to the truth of these sightings or of the rumors that Rizzo Incorporated is no longer supporting our efforts here would go a long way toward improving company morale. From Zora Blackwood. Violette, please, we are all begging you. For the love of all that is good and just, please let Cecil sell soap to Simon again. He's got some kind of condition. I don't rightly know what it is, but I've smelled corpses with a finer odor than his. Fun. Horrible. Evil. But funny. Shit, I'm almost full up again. Oh, roof. I guess this is just for combat? Or... Is it? Oh, that jumps me over the, uh, over the wall. Okay. We're going to break down some shit. Keep the Balter pistol. No, I already have one equipped. dirty, but it smells. I'm going to start selling my um, mods that I'm not using. They're taking up, like, 40 pounds of space. Great. 
Great work. Oh, they all had gas masks, huh? Purpleberry launch? What are you? What is the purple damage? Is that N ray damage? Oh, Mag 2 Ray. Damage type N ray. Damage minus 50%. Is there anything in this colony not made with purple berries? <laughs> that's just um, that's just like the shock launchers and stuff, right? Or the grenade launchers? That's pretty fun. Have a oh right the elevator to the secret lab. Oh, I think we'll explore the rest of um, Cascadia before we do that. Blackwood Zora, personal log. We're trapped between monsters and men who've turned into monsters. Cecil's leg is starting to rot. I don't know how we're making it out of here. I suspect we could climb along to the chasm wall. Might be the only chance we got, but Cecil's getting worse. He passed. Boy, take me. I couldn't keep his infection down. I've got no choice. Gonna try to climb. I ever make it to Byzantium, I'm gonna find Sumner and the rest of the execs, put a boot up their gold-shitting asses. Uh oh Huh. I didn't see it, okay? Does this take us? Oh, look at that! What is that? Bridge safe house. That is a sissy pig. Sissy pig hoof. And protein and hoofy goodness. That looks cool out there. Wooly cow. Oh, you're alive, and an enemy apparently. Hidden sentry. Hidden sentry. Holy cow. Oh, Herbert. Why are you an enemy?
Wait a second. Okay, no, his name is Clive. Who are you? You're wearing Rizzo's armor. I don't want to just kill you. Buckwalter H. Access by any person other than Buckwalter H. is unauthorized. Consult your Rizzo employee handbook for the fines corresponding blah, blah, blah. Journal entries. Buckwalter H. Preparations. Dearest Margaret, I fear that when you wake, you'll think I've abandoned you like Rizzo has. I assure you of the opposite. I have commenced preparations to ensure you and Herbert survive until you are both rescued. As for myself, I fear the worst. I will make every attempt to survive the coming months, but the bites I suffered while fleeing from the Raptodons show no signs of healing. I can only hope that you wake before I pass, but in the worst case, know that I love you both. Yours, now and well after my atoms have been consigned to the ether, Howard. Rationing. Dearest Margaret, our quarters here may be tiny, but Herbert continues to investigate its every nook and cranny with utter delight. I am pleased to report that he shows no signs of distress following our sojourn into this humble new home. I have brought with me everything I can take from the surface. Our ex-colleagues continue to try and live above ground, though they have barred the north gate from the encroaching raptodons. They remain unaware as to the existence of this hideaway, and I aim to keep it so. If they found my store of food, they'd surely seek to divide it amongst themselves. Recalling my emergency training, though it was years ago, I have managed to secure intubation to sustain you while you sleep so peacefully. Oh. Properly rationed, our supplies here will last some years, surely enough that Rizzo will come to rescue us. At the very least, Herbert shall survive well through his adolescent years, with proper rationing, perhaps even into adulthood. As for myself, my wounds have begun to smell. Herbert pretends not to notice, but the way his nose crinkles reminds me of how you used to laugh. How he grows with each passing day. Yours, now and well after my atoms have been consigned to the ether, Howard. Engineering a Mother Dearest Margaret, I hope you will not take offense should you one day wake to find an auto-mechanical preparing Herbert's meals or adjusting your intake tubes. It has taken quite an effort, and many failures to which my new burns can attest, to engineer an auto-mechanical to take care of any person, much less one infant and one comatose woman. With any luck, should the infection in my leg continue to grow, these machines will handily replace my fatherly duties and maintain the loving care required to raise Herbert and nurse you back to health. To my surprise, the cooking model is even capable of limited tutoring services. Underwear. Dearest Margaret, the auto mechanicals are working splendidly. Their fervor reminds me of, your, of my youth years ago, before I became the exhausted husk I am today. Part of me is thankful that you cannot see me in such a state, with one useless leg and ominous streaks of black racing along my veins. I will leave you with a word of advice. In the absence of proper undergarments, I have taught the auto mechanicals to wash tanned raptodon hides for reuse. With the last vestiges of my strength, I collected a few from the surface. Should you wake, I beg you, do not go up there. Remain here until rescued. Our colleagues have perished, and only monsters now remain. Yours, now and well after my atoms have been consigned to the ether, Howard. D. Buckwalter. Letters. Father insists I practice my letters, so here we are. Rizzo. Rizzo's Purpleberry Crunch ready to eat. Tripicali Flakes Purpleberry flavored power nuggets. Rizzo's Purpleberry Lunch, non-organic purpleberries, crackers, cheese, pea-free nuts. It's always time for Purpleberry Lunch. New, net weight, 32 ounces, 90 grams. Rizzo's Knock You Out, CCN76, milk, chocolate with caramel, pea-free nuts. It's time for a KYO. Scythe. Today, Father finally let me use the candy cane. It is called a scythe. He showed me how to be safe, so I do not burn myself. Maybe I can use it to capture another woolly friend and make him proud. Father, Howard has not moved this morning. His tummy is very still, and he is very quiet like Mother was when Howard took her tubes out and cried all night. Oh. I think White Hat is my father now. I don't know if it is able to be proud, but I will try my best. Oh. 
Access all the mechanical controls. No, I'm not doing anything here. To... God damn it. I didn't want that to happen. Why is the sound gone? Alright, there's nothing in here to look, so I'm just going to leave this guy in peace. Yeah, he's a kid that grew up alone. We're just going to leave this guy in peace. Weird that he didn't notice us, but... Whatever. Thino? What is Thino? Uriel? Are these named monsters? level. Oh, right. Let's see. Let's get an additional 25% of the inhaler's healing effect. Is that worth? There's a chance items you repair will become pristine. That's something I care about right now. Uh, it's kind of low, but the um, bonus is high because of who I've got. Oh, you know what? Let's get points in hack. Just in case. Hang on, I think there's another call from Spectrum. Just another automated call that the guy's en route. All right, let's see what we've got for other perks to take. Uh, don't care about damage while I'm low health because I always heal. Range weapon damage, range weapon sway. Shot kills deal 25% of their damage to enemies within 2.5 meters. It's so weird that you can't get headshot kills outside of TTD. And skill bonus. I might go for that. Uh, I might go for um, reduced damage.
I'll go for the uh, armor bonus. Oh! Marina Bekeshko. Bekeshko has prevented the most foot and hand goals of any Darlings goalie. Brandon Rosser. Rosser is the highest block stat of any CNP player, past or present. Plasma Cutter Gold. Nice. So they were uh, unique enemies. Thank you. I like my ringtone. I've had it for eight years at this point. There is no way to interact with him and no future way of interacting with him. I'm just going to leave him alone. Let him do his thing. I hear you. His legs. It's just a maybe you're kind of an asshole meter. We'll go to the middle building after we explore around the edges. Is that a giant sprat? Rabid sprat. What is up here? Oh, it's the landing pad. There's no outer wall here. Shouldn't we open up the terminal? We're doing that last is what's going on. A report written by a Rizzo wildlife specialist regarding Project Taro. It lists concerns that the higher-than-average volume of terror ray corpses may be attracting local wildlife. Combined with the alluring purpleberry aroma coming from the Cascadia bottling plant, the engineer worries that raptodons may be encroaching even ever closer to the walls. 
Though the walls are theoretically sound, the engineer warns that they're relatively shallow, and that particularly clever raptodons could possibly dig beneath them or find their way into the chemical waste pipes. Okay. Mantisaurus killed a raptodon. I hear that. What am I hearing? Mantiswarm? Is that what I'm hearing? Sure is. Shut up, auto piano. Sole property of Zora Blackwood. Journal entries, April 27th, 2343. Something stinks about these evac prep procedures. I know the taros were expensive, but shipping them out of here isn't going to be easy. Even the hunters are recommending we let them loose outside the gates. I don't get why we're taking them with us anyway. Someone up the chain must really believe in the project. April 28th. I'm copying my meeting notes for posterity. Still can't shake this feeling that they're hiding something. Sumner, Colin called the meeting to discuss preparations for our imminent departure. Pauline, platitudes, assurance that nobody is being fired. Pauline explains that jobs await us all on Terra too. More platitudes, top management is very pleased with Project Terra and wants to ensure its assets are preserved. Cecil McClure, so the project isn't being scuttled? Sumner, no, just moved off Terra 1. Violette, but how will we transport the Taros? Ted, hunters will assist us in safely moving them onto the shuttle. Violette, it was hard enough getting them into the cages in the first place. Me, what about the Raptodons? We've seen more and more around town. Sumner, assurances that the Raptodons are not interested in the Taros. Me, but the hunters are saying... Sumner, no more about the Taros. Floor is now open to general questions. M. Cicero, how many shuttles are incoming? Pauline, we don't know. At least one. Me, one isn't enough for all of us plus the damn Taros. Sumner, let's worry about that when the evac arrives. Looks like we're out of time. Thanks for coming, everyone, and keep up the great work. May 4th. We're fucked. Shuttle landed on the pad. We started moving Taro cages. Some of them broke. Birds everywhere. Talons everywhere. Even the clipped ones. Turns out they can run. Who knew? Then the rats got in. I don't know how. Must be a hole in the wall somewhere. Maybe they can dig. Fuck, they were all over the Taros at first, and then us. Sumner and the other upper management were already on the shuttle. Raps got near the pad. Someone panicked. They left us. Void, take their black hearts. They left us. May 7th. 
Got a few homes stabilized, but it isn't going to last. Raps everywhere. They caught scent of what's in the bottling plant, and now they're nesting. We need to move. Going to have to book it south across the bridge, cordon off half the town. I've been trying to hail corporate, but none of my messages are getting through. I don't think help's coming. Cecil insists corporate wouldn't abandon us, but I saw that shuttle. There wasn't enough room for us and the birds. Someone up there made a decision, and it wasn't for our well-being. Rotten bastards. I make it out of this mess, I'm coming for them. No wonder she joined the Iconoclast. That's closed. the other way into town. Bart. Used to be. You can get the best wine on my mind here. I would have liked to see this place. Before it was all boarded up. I bet it lit up the night. Alright, now the big one in the center of town. Knock, knock. Here go. Here we go. Oh, they opened the door. That's the last of them. I'm playing on normal. We were about to say I probably should have played on hard because I'm not sure I disagree. Is why I'm gonna hit 30 so early compared to when you. Oh, do you get less? Oh, god damn it! I need more lockpick. What's in there? Oh, and there's a door into the back that opens up. No? Where is the constabulatory? All right, well, up to the ship. Nope, down into the secret lab. I should summon the ship first. I'll summon the ship. Oh, the ship was in the other half.
Um? What was that? Why did it load? Save game just in case. Anything cool over here? That'd be a hard no. Awesome. To the lab! What is going on? Why is it having trouble loading? Don't like that. Don't like that. Are we putting things right? There's a lot of things where you have to choose between two equally unappealing options. There's an ad in the secret laboratory. Hello? Anybody here? Doesn't look like it. Might be some mechanicals. Picks. Oh! Proximity alert. Biology human. Protocol kill all plants. Suspended. Present your Rizzo identification credentials or prepare to be downsized. You can't fire me, I quit. Attempting to disengage security protocols without proper authorization. I'm sure I could find offense. Priming weapons. Oh, I have the password. It requires lie sixty. Unprime weapons. Unprime. <laughs> Executive level password accepted as identification according to employee ID protocol A-3501. Welcome back, doctor. Be advised. Mantisaur threat level is petrifying purple berry. Please use caution. Mantisaur wounds are not covered under Rizzo's health policy. Of that course they're not. Day. Oh wow, you've been busy in here. You and your friends have been busy in here. Sam gets you through here for free? That's fun.
I'm still going to pick this lock for the EXP. No, I'm not going to bother with that. I don't need the EXP. This isn't Fallout. Hat wide brimmed. Signal Ada to interface with the Cascadia landing pad. Search for fuel controls. This functioning terminal with revealing authorization is located above the Flavor R&D lab. He claims you're cleaning expectors. The robot realizes it's been gears since the last health inspection and then immediately stands down in utter robot horror. <laughs> That's fun. Messages from Redacted. Subject, re see you on the station. You will not see me, but I will be close. Continue your research, Doctor. Report to me when you have achieved a mission end state. I understand. Why are some of them in order and some of them in reverse order? It's so frustrating. I understand we're bound for a secondary lab. Will you be supervising our research this time, or will it be the standard work-from-the-shadows routine? 2. L. Fall. Subject. Getting there. Thank you for your optimism, Lore. What? What we're doing isn't easy under the best of circumstances, much less with the board cutting corners. I can promise you that our research will lead to a better housing, even if, even if we have to pay a terrible cost getting there. To lore is this a glitch where it accidentally substitutes my name or is this my name or is there somebody named lore in this game or is that just short for lauren effects of o2 rationing on native fauna there is someone named lore in the game that that got me that got me. Wow. That... That made me sit up and take notice. Anyway, effects of O2 rationing on native fauna. With all respect, I urge you to reconsider your decision to classify our research results on the native fauna of Terra-1. I assure you that we will diligently redact any references to our project or its purpose from any papers we release. We have made several discoveries about how the terraforming process affected the nuclein of the Raptodon and Manti families. At the very least, allow us to inform our fellow board researchers that these creatures will perish when O2 concentrations are reduced to 19.5%, a level within human tolerance. This is not about fame or prestige. This is about potentially saving lives. Please. You have your orders, Doctor. Your project is too important, too sensitive to allow any hint of it to reach the public. Captain, I'm waiting for your signal at Cascadia's landing pad. Oh, hi, Ada. You'll need to connect the storage tanks to my fueling system, and then initiate the transfer from an authorized terminal within the lab. Let's see what's in here. Aha. That just leads me back here. Do we have... Oh, there's just a bunch of mantisaurs in rooms. Thrower. 
Watch your step, Captain. Someone's got traps all over. Okay, we'll go down that way in a minute. Right, you guys ready? Let's get our murder on. Rizzo's vats. Nice. I'm getting full again. Oh. Is my transporter unreliable? It pumps a line fueling system. Like storage tanks and initiate siphon the transfer. Fuel. Connect storage tanks. Do I have to go outside and do something with that, or can I just do this? Archive vlog, animal trials. Tom was skeptical that animal trials could would yield good data, but I wanted to start small. I wish someone had thought to pack a breeding stock of fruit flies from Earth. Writing them off as mere pest species has limited our research efforts more than once. With approval from CNP, I made arrangements to peruse the Borst factory near Fallbrook. Sisty pigs mature reasonably swiftly. I feel this is the best option available to us. I've done great things with Sisty pig engineering in the past. Of course, my, my current project is far more difficult than merely enhancing the baconated, baconated flavoring of cysty big tumors. Let's see if I can make lightning strike twice, this time on alter, alternate tissues. Moving to Cascadia. The board has repeatedly denied my requests for data from the other teams investigating the issue. I'm guessing their efforts have progressed no further than ours. There is some good news. We'll be heading to a town called Cascadia. Apparently, Rizzo volunteered to provide lab space. We could use a change of scene. I'll ask the movers to handle this terminal with care. I'm starting to have doubts that animal testing will yield us the results we seek, but succumbing to pessimism helps no one. Did they have, uh... People trials, then? Oh, hello. That's a fast mantisaur. Hell yeah, Nioka. side around the outside and then I'll go down in the middle 
Aha! They were doing human trials. Dr. Thomas Linwood Ryle, in gratitude. Bunch of doctors. I'm siphoning uh, rare fuel for sublight. Nice work, Captain. Oh, that's some bypass shots and mag picks. Thank you very much. bits. Pick up the vodka. There we go. E. Chartrand. Research notes. Tissue compatibility. Acceptable losses. Chief concern is rejection of the tissue. A problem as classical as limb transplantation, though obviously on a cellular level. The scale of the problem, though. Even with the Alta V tie bolstering our efforts, an achievement of such proportion has never been attempted or even considered. How do we define a tolerable failure rate when the losses could swell to affect millions? Even 1% is unthinkable. I have much to consider. Transfer to secondary site. The project has been reassigned to a secondary lab. I'm told the board is pulling out of Terra One, and we don't even have time to transfer our research. For once, I'm grateful our labors didn't make significant strides here. I won't forget Tom's sacrifice. Up until the end, he knew it had to happen. If it wasn't one of us, the board would have volunteered inmates from Tartarus. I'll be sure to carry his example to the new lab, and the next phase of human trials. Um... I'm going to pause for a sec. I think that's my landlady calling me. I'll be back in a few minutes, guys. All right, guys, so um, the Spectrum guy is here to fix a wire on the side of the house. That's going to take internet down. So I'm going to save the game. Um, we're going to end the stream here. Uh, and depending on how long my internet's down while he fixes stuff, we will probably uh, stream again tonight. But you'll obviously get tagged if I do uh, on the Discord and on the blog. So thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you guys a little later.